Lately, we've been talking a lot about the warrior archetype, and it so happens that in a book review which appeared in a military officer magazine is an interview with Kyle Carpenter, who, as a Lance Corporal in the Marine Corps, won the Congressional Medal of Honor and lived to tell about it. And so I want to read this interview, which I find quite moving, partially because I want to promote Kyle's book called You Are Worth It. Building a life worth fighting for. I want to give you a sense of what a real hero thinks and a real warrior. This is an interview that was done by Kristen Davis. So I will be reading Miss Davis's questions and Kyle's answers. I will put an image of Kyle on the screen uh, each time he is answering. But there's a buildup first, so let me read that. And so this is from the July 2020 issue of Military Officer, and I think everyone who is interested in the warrior archetype should be exposed to this article. When an enemy grenade landed on a rooftop where two Marines were posted in Helmand Province, Afghanistan, on November 21st, 2010, they had no time to escape. Lance Corporal Kyle Carpenter made a split-second decision that saved the life of fellow Marine Nick Ufrazio, but nearly cost him his own. He jumped on the grenade. Four years later, Carpenter became the youngest living recipient of the military's highest honor. Quote, you displayed heroism in the blink of an eye that will inspire for generations, unquote. President Barack Obama said at the Medal of Honor ceremony in June 2014, Carpenter continues to inspire with his book, You Are Worth It, Building a Life Worth Fighting For. Question. When you joined the Marines during the surge in 2009, it was clear that you would go to war. What inspired your service? Kyle, whether we were at war or not, I believe I joined solely to give and commit myself and my life fully and to be a part of something bigger than myself. I wanted to know that I can say, I raised my right hand and I served wholeheartedly when no one made me. Davis. You describe becoming a Marine as a calling. What is your calling now? Carpenter. When I was in the hospital, I had a hallucination where I witnessed my own funeral and no one came. I was out of my mind and it wasn't real. But just to feel such hopelessness and despair when no one came, I carry that moment with me. When that moment comes, I want to live a life so that people will be at my funeral. I want to treat people good. I want to help others. I want to leave a positive impact. I want to live a life well lived. Davis, you display an incredible amount of empathy in your book, including for the enemy. Why is empathy so important? Carpenter. We are all one birth away from a completely different set of life circumstances. It is hard to not hate the person who just tried to kill you, but how can I judge him knowing that it's possible if he didn't shoot at me, his wife and three kids are going to be beheaded when he gets home. Even if it's hard, I try always to see the other side. Davis. Why do you think you became so relatable to people so much different from you after your injuries? These scars made me realize no matter how we got them, they are a bridge and connection to other people. 
They help open pathways to other people. Davis, what do you want people to take away from you're worth it? Carpenter, you're going to struggle. It's okay to struggle. It might make you different, but you truly can come back better and stronger than you were before. The smallest of steps can eventually complete the grandest of journeys. And that was an interview by Kristen Davis. She was interviewing Corporal Kyle Carpenter. Let me add my salute to Corporal Kyle Carpenter for his heroism and his epitome of the warrior archetype. And the book is You Are Worth It by Kyle Carpenter. Building a life worth fighting for. Yeah.